will be interesting to see if the pikemen are fixed. Because in the vanilla game, pikemen were just useless. We start with some skirmishers, actually. Colonial Matchlock Musketeers. Oh my god. Ugh. Bath Regiment. <laughs> you know, what I said earlier is that I want my Total War games to be as vanilla as possible. Because they're trying to meddle with the units and look what I just see in the Prologium video. German mercenary cavalry. Reformed Harkebusiers. Heavy curacy with pistols. Yeomanry, this is the standard vanilla unit. I have access to mortars. Eh, that's, that's not... Grenadiers. English foot grenadiers. British marines. Knox volley gun. Bearskin grenadiers. Coldstream guards grenadiers. <laughs> Talking about unit variety. Your orders, your majesty. Um You hear unit variety, big unit variety plus sixty new units. You think hell yeah, go for it. But then you see this. Like this isn't helping. I would rather... Um, I would, like, this is the... Turn 1! What else are we going to recruit later on? Having unit variety to the brink of bursting the UI is not good. Like, do people play this mod and, like... Look at this unit variety. Oh, I wish there's more. <laughs> like you're not going to recruit 80% of that shit. You know... <sighs> I 
Having this much unit variety is not good, especially in the 18th century, where there's like line infantry, grenadiers, light infantry, and then there's irregulars. You know? There's not much else. I think it's pretty cool that they have these historical regiments. That's fucking... That's fucking nice. <laughs> okay. European Firelock Armed Citizenry mob. African Musketeers mob. African Spearmen infantry. Slaves armed with axes. Archipiziers. Slaves armed with pitchforks. Slaves and <laughs> pikes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No one. No one. Played this mob and recruited these. Rec recruited any of this. No one. So, instead of wasting your time on this unit variety, the mothers could have done. invested the time better in useful stuff. Other than this shiny unit variety where it's like you're not ever going to ever recruit any of these units. Like in every Total War game there's a peasant unit. Peasants in Medieval 1 and 2. Mobs again in Rome and Rome 2. In Empire, you have you have the mob again. No one ever recruits these units. I have to pay six hundred to recruit these units, and pay them one hundred thirty-five every turn. Why would I recruit this unit? I would just rather recruit nothing. Armed cit citizenry. European firelock armed citizenry. Citizenry. Two. Two mobs. Native warrior auxiliary. Native bowman auxiliary. Native tribesman auxiliary. Why? Why would you recruit any of this? Militia pikemen. Slaves <laughs> with axes. Slaves armed with pitchforks again. New England companies. Musketeers, militia. Why would you recruit these units? Again, historical units with, with like uh, name and new models is fucking, am uh, fucking amazing. But don't clot everything until it's bursting full with uh, unit variety and flesh. This is like advertisement. I fear this is advertisement for people who I don't want to insult every anyone, but who don't play Total War seriously. Because it makes not 
like all of these creating all of these units with the models and this is time wasted which could have been put into the development of the mod and not under the screen of false unit variety with units you will never <laughs> Two, uh, two different um, curacias. I think you only need one curacias, and you have light cavalry and dragoons. That's it. There's three units, and maybe one historical unit for each of the branches. Perfect. I can't even... German mercenary cavalry. Why, do, why would I recruit this shit? Germany mercenary cavalry. Okay, I am finished with my rant. It's not like I am forced to recruit these units, but... This is unnecessary. This is really unnecessary. This is the second building of... seven building upgrades. I don't even want to know what type of units we are going to recruit here. It doesn't end. Look at this, it doesn't end. Yeah. So we spotted the first oversight of the smart flashing useless unit variety which serves no purpose other than to incite newbies in trying out the mod. But it's okay. Ready and awaiting orders. If they fix the battle and the AI, then I don't care about any of this. If Empire Total War is playable with this mod now, it's decent, then I don't care about what I just said. But this is false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> 